Hi. Well, I've decided to um, investigate. I'm actually in the middle of investigating this yellow bucket. Hasn't been emptied for years. All sorts of junk in, mostly, mostly junk. As you can see, buttons and erasers and little, little toys that came out of Christmas crackers. So here's another little toy. Oh, I had this when I was. I just changed the focus. I got this toy when I was junior school, so maybe nine or ten. A Highland Piper, a Scottish Highland Piper. He's lost his stand, so he can't stand up anymore, but he's been living in that yellow bucket for a while. Oh, a travel chess set. Had this a good few years, a little plastic one, which should open. Yeah, I think all the pieces are still there. It's magnetic, so they, it's plastic, but it's magnetic, and magnetic strips underneath, so the, um, you can play it anywhere, and they won't fall over, and you can't get the thing shut. There we are. Uh, what else have we got? A tape measure from a Christmas cracker. Oh, now here, this is very interesting. When I was about eight years old, I got a magic set, and this is the only surviving piece. It's um, called a magic coin tray. And as you see, there's a space for the coin. What you do is you, um, you knock it off the desk, and then you put the coin tray in, and then you take the coin tray out, and you've got a coin. See? Excellent. Oh. Now this is from the Palace of Versailles in Paris. I went on a school trip when I was about 13 years old, and I bought this, and I haven't used it at all. It's as good as it was when I first bought it. Uh, so, been in the yellow bucket for a long time. Um, I don't think it's real leather, but there's no French coins in it. There you are, Palace of Versailles. I could probably sell that on eBay. What else have we got in here? Oh, now here. Can you guess what this is? Now this is the piece that held the um, the handle, uh, the handguard on my old rapier. I used to do a bit of sword fighting, just in a friendly manner. And during one of the fights, my rapier fell to pieces. And this is the uh, the end that screwed in, held the um, the guard. And the rest of the rapier is somewhere around, so maybe I can put it back together again. Although it looks as though it's probably broken at the end. These came out the bucket earlier on. Houses from Monopoly. I think there's a game of Monopoly hanging around somewhere. Now this, another piece of my childhood. I got one Christmas when I was maybe 10 or 11. I got a uh, plastic moulding set. A series of moulds and some liquid plastic and you made your own jewellery and whatever. And this is an old penny coin with, um, well it's been embedded in plastic and it's been there for quite a while. A little puppet which came out of a uh, variety pack many many years ago. I think it's a red Indian, yeah. Although it's blue Indian I suppose. Lots of erasers and oh here we are. Look at this. If you're in America you might not know the significance of this. It says how tickled I am. There's a comedian called Ken Dodd who um, invented these characters called Diddy Men. Um, this is very collectible actually. I've had it for many years. Must have had it for over 30 years anyway. And I could sell that on eBay. Maybe get a few, a few quid, a few dollars, you know. Um, that's Lord Ponsonby Smallpiece, I think. The picture. 
And there's another tape measure and some erasers and more little toys. Oh, and we had three monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil and uh, speak no evil. This is speak no evil. I don't know where the other two went. So if you've got a yellow bucket tucked away in your house, investigate. You never know what you're going to find.